every year we choose a different country where we work and rebuild schools after natural disasters. And Haiti is uh, this year's Happy Hearts Fund land of dreams. On November 5th, 2011, more than 500 guests gathered in New York City to celebrate the Happy Hearts Fund Land of Dreams Haiti event. Our applause Happy Heart for supporting Haiti this time and supporting talent last year and continue to build more schools. Happy Hearts Fund hosted a special children's dream hours in the afternoon for boys and girls from underprivileged areas of New York City. Together with their families, the children were able to discover Haiti's hidden treasures, including the food and artisan iron markets, the pristine sandy beaches, along with a Happy Hearts Fun School. Margaret Brennan of Bloomberg Television opened the evening program by introducing Happy Hearts Fund founder and chairwoman Petra Nemkova and executive director Philip Caputo, who thanked guests and sponsors for their commitment to rebuilding schools and children's lives after natural disasters. Because of you, 34,000 children and 337,000 community members have a chance at a safe, secure, sustainable school. They have 56 schools built. It's a pretty phenomenal thing. By having built 56 schools and by making sure that the world knows about it, there will be other people who will say, I want to participate also. Special guests included, via video, President of the Republic of Haiti, Michel Martelli. The work you and the Happy Hearts Foundation does, not only in Haiti, but around the world, is commendable. Haiti Foreign Minister Laurent Lamotte delivered a State of Haiti address encouraging people to believe in the future of the country. Let me also note that your presence here tonight will also allow Happy Hearts, Petran and Kova's foundation, to build over 10 schools to benefit the poorest of the poor Haitian children. Thank you. Inter-American Development Bank Vice President Julie Katzman announced the bank's partnership with Happy Hearts Fund. Let me tell you that we, together with the Happy Heart Fund, will be building 10, a minimum of 10 schools. One of the best things that can happen in this business is that you form relationships on a charitable level. Award-winning singer and songwriter Josh Groban delivered a moving set concluding with You Raise Me Up that brought the crowd to their feet. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy Renee Haugerud, founder and CIO of Galtair Limited and Happy Hearts Fund board member, was honored for her philanthropic work and received the Happy Hearts Fund Heart of Gold Award. Happy Hearts focuses on education, on educating people, which brings understanding to the world. Sean Penn, founder and CEO of JP Haitian Relief Organization, received the Happy Hearts Fund Lifetime Achievement Award and delivered a passionate speech. Whether it's for this organization, for our organization, for any, any of these organizations, do it now, do it big. You'll be part of something that changes the world. Thank you, thank you very much. Petra Nemkova has asked me to conduct the auction and so as an auctioneer, I hope I can do my bit to contribute to raising a lot of money. Simon Dupuri led a spirited live auction that concluded with donors directly sponsoring the building of kindergartens and schools in Mexico, Indonesia, Haiti, and Peru. 11 schools were pledged in the live auction portion of the night and raised over $1 million.
work that Happy Hearts is doing in Haiti is amazing because uh, they work directly with the children. Award-winning singer and songwriter Wyclef Jean performed an inspired set of Haitian carnival music mixed with classic Fuji's hits for over an hour. He was joined on stage by former Fuji's bandmate Praz Michel while the entire room danced well into the night. Shout out to the President Michel Martelly.